All right, Shalawam, another GMS on the go, back with another lesson. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to the Heavenly Father and the only begotten Son, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the ones that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Right. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere occupants, man. Pushing this Bible week in and week out, regardless of people here for a bed, to the best of your ability. That's right. Once again, regardless of people here for a bed, to the best of your ability, keep pushing. <coughs> hey, this just pretty much an open phone, you know what I'm saying? I'm the brother Hawaii, got the brother Kabai with me. Shalom. You know, hey. Look, man, everybody's walking around, you know what I'm saying, like ain't nothing going on, like ain't nothing happening. When the prophecies of this Bible is coming to pass as we speak, man, mm -hmm. you know, like the brother Kabbalah was saying before we even started the video, you got these people just walking around, living their lives, you know, mm -hmm. not even knowing it all hell, getting ready to break loose here in America. Right. So we just want to go and bring in some scriptures, Lord <clears> willing, <throat> it'll be edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel, of the times that we're living in, man. Yep. We're living in a time just like Noah, man. Everything would seem all peaceful, hunky dory, and all of a sudden, all hell broke loose, man. Mm -hmm. And those are the times that we're living in, man. So we're gonna hop right into it, man. Yep. The same Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse thirty-six. Right. <clears throat> it says, "But of that day and hour knoweth no man." Right. No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So man don't even know mm -hmm. when Lord Yahweh is getting ready to come back, man. But, mm -hmm. but the majority of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the last thing they think about is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. Right. Who they eagerly call God and Jesus Christ. No matter how much yelling and screaming and hollering they do, mm -hmm. if loving the Lord is wrong and don't want to be right, <laughs> they act us, man. You know what I'm saying? Our people really don't love the Lord. Right. Because according to the scripture right here, why would you even wait and play around if you don't know the date or the <clears throat> hour, man? That's right. If you see men out there on the highways and byways telling you to repent, Telling you to get right with the God of the Bible. When you do it now, as soon as you hear the word, now everything, you know what I'm saying, you know, in, in a decently in order, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> right. Every, everybody's, it's a work in progress. So one day you work on it, the next day you work on it, the next day you work yeah. on it. You keep working on it, man. A work in progress, right? But you don't wait to all hell break loose, you know what I'm saying, to try to hawk into the words of the Bible, man. That's right. Because you don't know, man. The scripture just said, you don't know, and it's written in red, it's red letter. This Lord Yahweh Shai saying, right. he don't know when he's going to come, man. So why even, and then, you know, we most definitely got to get Sirach, you know what I'm saying, uh, five, five and seven. seven. But we'll finish this off first. I'll make, make a statement. Yep. Because, you know, you made a good point, man. You know, why play Russian roulette with the God of the Bible, man? Right. You know? He, he, the God the God of the Bible is the bullet, and you're just spinning it around. Right. You're spinning it around, playing with it. Taking a chance, right, bro? Taking a chance, man. You know, and that's what that's what our people are doing, man. Just like in the days of Noah, just carefree, you know? Not turning back to the Lord. They're going to wait till they get about 90. Right. And that's when they're going to try to turn back to the Lord. That's going to be too late, right? Kind. Okay. It's uh, St. Matthew chapter 3, uh, 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the, the coming of the Son of Man be. Right. So we're living in the same, pretty much the same time frame. You know? Mm -hmm. Different time, but time frame as meaning the same thing that was going on back in Noah days is the same thing that's going on now. The scriptures tell us in Ecclesiastes, you know what I'm saying, there's nothing new up under the sun. Yep. So what you see going on right about now is the same thing that was going on in Noah's time, man. It's just people just driving um, modern day vehicles. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Modern day slang. But it's, it's just still the same it's thing, the same man. Thing. It's, just, it's just the same thing. More um technology right about now. <laughs> yeah. That's all. You know, that's the same thing. They say we're living in the days of Noah, right? And I got a yep. precept right quick. Yep. Why you getting that? Yep. Make a quick statement. Yeah. Um, just like they show you that movie War of the Worlds with uh, Tom Tom Cruise. Right. It was a regular day. You had uh, mechanics right. working on cars. Right. You know what I'm saying? You had uh, 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 um, um, baby mamas dropping off kids to the right. baby daddy. You know what I'm saying? Which was Tom Cruise. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a regular day, man. And then what happened? The, uh, the, uh, the ships popped up on the scene, man. Right. And start killing everything in sight. And, and look, that's what's going to happen, man. That's, <laughs> that's what the right. scripture going into, man. It says we're living in the days of Noah, right? So mm -hmm. we're going to read right quick what Noah was doing. While everybody else was playing around with the scriptures getting ready to go into, Time. we're going to prove according to the Bible what Noah was doing. Time. Look, Hebrews chapter 11, and we'll go straight to the point. Verse 7. By faith, Noah, being warned of the Most High, mm -hmm. of things not seen as yet, Move with fear, cause the Most mm -hmm. High didn't tell Noah when he was gonna bring the flood. Right. He just told him, Noah, I'm gonna bring a flood. Right. 
He didn't have to right. give him the date. The Most High didn't give us no date when he's going to destroy America. He just told us he's going to do it. That's right. Act accordingly, right? That's right. Going right back to um, 1 Peter chapter 3, 10, 10. on down. Yep. You know what I'm saying? What, what, what kind of conversation, conversation what kind of conduct, conduct. yeah. Yep. What, how should you be acting right about now, knowing that the Lord is coming down. back? Yeah, that's right, right. Hebrews chapter 11, verse um, 7, by faith Noah, being warned of the Most High. Look, being warned of the Most High, bro. That's the right. Most High warned them, bro. That's right. Like he told us to get, he warned us through the apostles, you know what I'm saying? And then we giving our people warning, regardless if they're here for a bit, still give them warning, right? That's right. Look, being warned of the Most High, of things not seen as yet. Mm-hmm. I'm going to flood this place. No, they didn't have to see it, bro. That's right. We didn't have to see missiles hit America to believe that they was going to hit America. That's that, right. Why wait around? Why play around, right? Right. It says move with fear. Mm -hmm. Noah move with fear. We move with fear. Yeah. Everybody else is moving like a, like a snail. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And plus, they ain't moving with fear anyway. The majority of these people ain't even moving, bro. Mm -hmm. They hear the word, you know what I'm saying? They move right to the next restaurant, bro. Yeah. And to the next club and all this yeah. other nonsense. Man, these people, the last thing they think about is the words of the Bible, right? But yep. Noah moved with fear. The servants of the Lord, the elect, Lord willing we part of that, move with fear. That's right. If I can make a quick statement, yep. you know, and, and and what is fear, man? Fear is knowledge according to the scriptures, man. Right. Going back to Proverbs 1 and 7. So Noah moved with the with the knowledge that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh gave him, man. Right. Look, I'm gonna flood this place, man. Right. You know, you keep building, right. you keep prophesying. You know what I'm saying? No one moved with fear, which equals out the uh, knowledge, yep. man. Knowledge that the, the, the God of the Bible gave him, man. That's right. I got it right here. Proverbs chapter 1, verse huh. 7. The fear of the Lord mm -hmm. is the beginning of knowledge. And that's, that's plain, man. The fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hebrew Israelites. Okay, that's knowledge, man. Mm -hmm. And that's what our forefather Noah moved with, man. That's right. Noah you had know? some knowledge, didn't he, bro? <laughs> He has some wisdom and he has some understanding, right? Right. Because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all that. Mm -hmm. So you can't call Noah um, stupid. Right. You can't call Noah a dummy. Right. Well, you can, but that would be a lie. You know what I'm saying? Look, look, you can call us whatever you want to call us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. But look, we're going to still move with fear through the spirit That's of right. your house. You can call us whatever you want to call us, man. That's right. But we're moving with fear, man. That's right. Going you know, back. Oh, slug it, bro. No, nah, I'm just going to say, which is the beginning of knowledge. That's right. Going back to um, 2 Ezra 15. Um, uh, the three or four, you know, we don't care what people think about us, right. man. You know, the, and the and the uh, incredulity, the non-believers. Right. You know, the Lord said, "Fear me, damn it." That's what we're doing. That's right. We had we got to get our butts whooped to start fearing. We already had our butts <laughs> whooped already all these years. Yep. Now we starting to fear, and then now He lighting up the load now, so to speak, on them whippings. Huh. Finishing this Proverbs off, Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7. Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, is the beginning of knowledge, mm -hmm. but fools despise wisdom and instruction. And that's going all into our people, man, two thirds of them at least. You know, you Hebrew Israelites, so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. You know, you're fools, man. You're blockheads, right. your meatballs, your nincompoops, right. your dunce, jackasses. Jackasses. See it here, you have the men of the Lord, the spiritual weathermen, out here week in and week out, starting off with our apostles and our elders of Great Millstone, and the men on down, uh, warning you of what's to come. Right. <clears throat> and y'all sitting out like nothing's going on, man. You know what I'm saying, Just bro? like in the days of Noah, man. Right. Right. So I'm going right back to that. Huh. Hebrews chapter 11, finishing verse 7. By faith, Noah, being one of the most high of things not yet as seen, <clears throat> moved with fear. Mm -hmm. Meaning Noah had knowledge once again. Right. You know, Noah had knowledge, man. Kind. You no, know, Abraham had knowledge. That's right. You know, all the men of the Lord had knowledge, man. Why? Because they had fear first, you know? Mm -hmm. It says, um, move with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, mm -hmm. by the which he condemned the world. Mm -hmm. So you got all these things going on, you know what I'm saying? We condemning the world, but everybody out of our people still partying with the world. That's right. When the scriptures tell you love not the world. That's right. Know the things that are in the world. You know what I'm saying? That's right. We condemn the world. I mean the two thirds of these Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians. Because I'm pretty sure, you know what I'm saying, when you look up that word it's cosmos right. in the Greek. You know what I'm saying? So that means Israel. He condemned two thirds of the Israelites, man. Right. Cause they didn't move with fear, right? Right. It says um and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. And the reason why I brought that scripture out, because we're going into the days of Noah, right? Mm -hmm. So we just proved what Noah was doing. He was building <clears throat> and he was he was warning, That's you know right. what I'm saying? The people on what was coming, man. He That's was condemning, right. he was condemning two thirds, man, mm -hmm. for not taking heed to the words of the Bible. That's right. So let's go back. <clears throat> yep. You want to say something right quick? Yeah, because now we're, the, the art we're building is spiritual, man. Right. You know, 
the Lord gave us a sign with our, physically with our eyes with Noah building the ark. Right. And our people didn't want to take heed. Now the Lord like, all right, Noah, forget that. It's spiritual now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to take heed when I made it physical. Yep. When I made it physical, and that's that's the, that's cold, ain't it, bro? Mm -hmm. Look, and that's how, that's how people don't write, bro. Yep. That's why you got to have faith, you know what I'm saying, to believe in the word now. Mm -hmm. You know? Because when right. Noah, you know what I'm saying, made it physical, you know what I'm saying, when, when the Noah built a physical ark, and you have a bunch of shot made it to be seen, the people didn't even believe, bro. Right. So now it's most definitely based on faith now. Right. Going back, is Matthew chapter 24, verse 37. Right. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Yeah. Noah was warning. Mm -hmm. Noah was building. Noah was condemning. Mm -hmm. And that what the men of the Lord are doing. Yep. But everybody else was eating and drinking, mm -hmm. having fun. Mm -hmm. Where we at now? The spot we at now. All you do is smell uh, food. Yep. Savory. Coming through the window. Yeah, savory smells and all mm -hmm. that. People, you know what I'm saying, living a carefree life. Yep. You know? Some people getting out of work. Some people, you know, these people, you know what I'm saying? The only thing they <laughs> focusing on right about now is their job, mm -hmm. what they getting ready to do right about now. Happy and hour. Happy hour. Yeah, this <laughs> happy, pretty much happy hour right about now, man. Yeah. It's winding down, mm -hmm. you know. People get, get, getting in relaxed mode. Yeah. Just like in the days of Noah, man. And this is when all hell going to break loose. That's right. When you're in relaxed mode, like going right back to um, Ecclesiastes, Sirach chapter 5, verse 7, which we can ready to get. Okay, in thy right. security, thou yeah. shalt be destroyed. See, these people are pretty much secure right about now. Mm -hmm. Just like in the days of Noah, eating and drinking, got the nice house, got the nice job. Mm -hmm. Downtown in the city in one of these big giant buildings. These people ain't thinking about nothing. Right. And even Jake with these low-level jobs, McDonald's, Burger King and all that, they yeah. ain't thinking about the Lord, man. Nope. And they down on their luck, bro. Nope. Just like in the days of Noah, jogging, you yep. know what I'm saying, things of that nature, you know. Yep. Go ahead. <laughs> This is St. Matthew chapter 24, verse 38. Right. It says, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, right. marrying and giving in marriage. And that's what's going to happen before all hell break loose. Mm -hmm. Before all hell break loose, these people are going to be doing the same thing. They're going to be eating, drinking, having fun, giving in the marriage, look, playing music, right. bumping it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bumping it hard. Because they had instruments back then, bro, right. drums and all that. Right. You think they won't get down? <laughs> that was, Jake was getting down back then, man. Right. You know? That's why the most I, most I said, for their sakes came the flood. That's right. You know what I'm saying? For their sakes came the flood. Mm -hmm. And I get that while you finish reading that. Huh. Um, it says until the day that Noah entered into the flood, so they were doing the same to old the things. Ark, uh, slock into the ark, slock in. It's Matthew twenty four and thirty eight. It says until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Right. And that's the same thing you see going on now, man. You got people eating. You know they they they're having a, a dinner time now. That, right. At, the restaurants are full down here, man. Right. You know we was riding by. You see number uh, people out here eating and drinking. Yep, barely can get a parking space. Exactly. Lucked up on one through the spirit you have, but you remember, I see the Lord already got it set up anyway. Huh. That this is where we was going to park at, you yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. We're going to park down there because, you know right. what I'm saying, I want you here, you know what I'm right. saying? We didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't know it, you know? Yep. But now we do, you yep. know? And now the lesson is being more edifying right here in this spot. Huh. Same thing, man. Bright light, city lights. Mm -hmm. Back in Noah's days, carefree life. Nobody thinking about you, how about you, Shot. They probably didn't even believe in the Lord anyway, man. Right. You know? So if they did, they would have took heed to Noah, right? Mm -hmm. Said Noah moved with fear. That's right. That's the end of that, bro. Yeah. I got I got a precept. Huh. The reason why the flood came. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because it says, um, after that, well, we, well, you got another verse after that. Yeah, I got another I'm gonna verse. I'm going to read this yeah. and then, yeah. This is Sirach, chapter 40, verse 9. Right. Death and mm. bloodshed, mm. strife mm -hmm. and sword, calamities, famine, tribulation, and the scourge, scourges, these things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. Mm, and that's why the Lord brought the flood, man. For all the wickedness that was that, uh, uh, our people was committing, mm -hmm. and everyone on, on the on the planet at that time, man. Right. You know, it was all out, do whatever you want type spirit, man. And that's why America's gonna be destroyed because America's in that same spirit, man. Right. Do as thou will, spirit. You know, you had sodomy. Okay, you had uh, 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 adultery. Yeah, idol worship. Idol worship. You had it. All, you had it all, man. Mm -hmm. It says, it says um, just like in the days of Noah. Yep. We living in the time just like Noah. Noah was. Noah's probably back here right about now. I'm pretty sure he back here now mm -hmm. on one of these corners, man. If he ain't up in the spiritual realm right about right. now, if he passed away or not. But I'm pretty sure Noah's here right about now, still condemning, bro. Yep. Still condemning. 
Going right back to um Jeremiah 28 and 8. Yep. What the prophets did. did. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Prophesied against cities and mm -hmm. um, great countries. King, you know yep. what I'm saying? Kingdoms. You know? God. Of war, of evil. Evil, evil is bad times. Right. Noah was letting them know bad times was coming. But then nobody take heed, man. Right. Nobody. Except for his sons and their wives. Mm -hmm. And Noah's wives. Everybody else was destroyed. Mm -hmm. It's going to be just like that and more. It's gonna be just, it's gonna be worse at this time though. Right. Cause look, look, the Lord said you thought the flood was something. The day that I'm bringing, it's gonna be a million times worse. So you can't even put a number on it, but I'm just throwing a number out right. there. Look, the the day that's coming, it's gonna be way worse than the flood was. Right. And you thought the flood was bad, bro. Right. It's gonna right. be crazy, man. I'll read it one more time. Huh. This is Sirach chapter 40, verse 9. Death and bloodshed, strife. And swore. Mm -hmm. See, people living like in the days of Noah, they're eating, they're drinking, yep. celebrating, partying, just not knowing, bro, the death coming on right. a massive scale. You know what I'm saying? Look, bloodshed. These people gonna be killing each other soon, come, bro. Right. Look, look, strife. Motherfucker gonna be arguing like I don't know what, bro. When you see that going on now, man. Enough arguing, right? Yep. Look, and swore. Mm -hmm. That gun gonna be popping off, bro. You know what I'm saying? That Draco. They, yep. they love that Draco, right? So that's gonna pop off, you know what I'm saying? It says, um, calamities. These people gonna be catching a pure hell, man. Because when that right. flood came, they started catching pure hell, right? <clears throat> right. It says famines. Mm -hmm. See, everybody living a careless life right about now, just not knowing that a famine is coming, man. That's right. The Lord's getting ready to bring a famine to this place called America, man. Huh. It says, um, tribulation, mohel. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. It says, um, and the scourge. Mm -hmm. These things are created for the wicked, and for their sakes came the flood. So everybody's going to get a dose. Two-thirds right. and these heathens are going to get a right. dose, man, of everything that I just read according to the scriptures, man. Because in that in that precept it said bloodshed, right? Right. It says bloodshed, the killing or wounding of people, typically on a large scale during a conflict. Damn, bro, that's that race riot. No, saying. Yep. You know, what I'm saying the yep. uprisings of the people, the uproars mm -hmm. of the people. Damn, man. It's gonna get um, real confrontational real right. soon, man. It ain't gonna be no where's the love. Right. It ain't gonna be no, you know what I'm saying? Because uh, it said people gonna be invading each other's house for the lack of bread. Yep. It's getting ready to go down soon, come, man. That's right. But everybody's living like like we living in peaceful times, man. Mm -hmm. We're not living in peaceful times, man. Right. We're living in a time when all hell is getting ready to break loose and it's gonna come out of the blue suddenly, just like that flood, man. Kind. You're gonna have everybody, you got a majority of these people ignoring the prophets that are out there on the highways and byways, and then the Lord, Yahweh, Bashim al Shai, gonna say, yo, enough enough i'm pulling my man back now angels unleash the kraken you know right. what i'm saying unleash right. the kraken now you know <laughs> right and look some of the synonyms are slaughter damn massacre mm, 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 mm. uh carnage Woo. butchery oh look, look butchery these people gonna be getting hacked up man mm -hmm. you know y'all better watch that movie the road man you know right and that's just that's on a small scale you know right Yeah. Finish, all man. that robot shit is gonna be done away with soon, come, right. bro. All that run, right. all that shit gonna be done away with soon, come. You wait till all hell break loose. The last thing Israel gonna be thinking about <laughs> is a fucking um, where the sun went down now, bro. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Gotta, yeah. The last thing it. Jake gonna be thinking about, you know what I'm saying, is is um some robot music, man. Right. You know? All right. That's the last thing Jake like gonna a, be thinking about is some robot music. Auto tunes. Yeah, auto tunes, tunes. <laughs> come, bro. Auto tunes. You got something, bro? Uh, I'm gonna finish y'all. It yeah. just says uh, bloodbath. Yeah, the flight, bro. Yeah, I got it. Uh, fighting and slain. Look, fighting and slain. Yep. Look, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Yep. L look, these people are gonna be going bonkers at each other soon, come, man. Come. That's what this lesson is all about, man. It's pretty much an open form, but it's still going into how the day of the Lord is really gonna be, man. Come. These people are living a careless life, man, a carefree life, but all of a sudden, all hell gonna pop loose on these people, man, and catch them off guard, bro. Hey, um, if I make. Yeah. Statement, quote, yeah, man, you know, um, you know, my wife had a, a vision, you know, that the Lord gave to her in a, in, a, in a dream, man. Right. She was telling me how everybody in our neighborhood was was just fighting. I mean, everybody neighborhood was outside throwing haymakers. Mm. It was complete chaos and hell in the neighborhood, man. And you, you, you know, you can't make these things up, man. Look, look, bro, the hell with Mr. Rogers, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? I want to be your neighbor. You ain't gonna want to have no neighbors in that day, man. Right. And if you is out in the country somewhere, you know what I'm saying, it's still gonna get bad, man. Yeah. It's, it's worse out if you out there. It can't, can't nobody hear you scream. I got a precept for what you just <laughs> said, bro. Kind. Look, 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 bro, listen, ain't this cold right here, bro. Kind. Zechariah chapter 14, verse 13. 
and it shall come to pass mm -hmm. in that day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> look, bro, right. in that and day, look, you know what I'm saying? So, it hasn't came yet. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> look, that a great tumult from the Lord shall be among them. Mm. And look, and they shall lay hold everyone on the hand of his neighbor. But look, I thought you put the love your neighbor, right? Mm. What a love, look, what a love gonna be in that right. thing, man? Yeah, where's the love, right, bro? It says, um, everyone on the hand of his neighbor, mm. and his hand shall rise up against the hand mm -hmm. of his neighbor. And that's exactly what she dreamed, man. You know, had that vision. The whole neighborhood, people got, got uh, weapons in their hands. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever they can find, glass bottles, and it's going to work on everybody. Right. And, 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 and the, um... In, in, in the um, neighborhood, neighborhood, man, you know. There's another one that said um, they're gonna use a sword against each other. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, so it's so it's gonna get bad out here, man. You know, it's gonna get real bad out here, man. Yep. You, you people don't have a clue, man. You people don't have a clue. That's why, look, we we giving them warning. Matter of fact, while you looking for that, I bring out this Ezekiel. Come. This Ezekiel, right quick. You know, this is Ezekiel chapter three. Verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. The same thing that Noah was doing, bro. Right. Giving you warning from your how about Shemel Shah. Regardless if you're here for a bear. Regardless if you're here for a bear, man. Now I got another one. Are oh, you still looking for that? This is um, Isaiah chapter 13. Verse um, I can't find it. Yeah, it's all good, bro. Verse nine. Behold, Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nine. Right. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, mm -hmm. both with wrath and fierce anger. Look, man. So the day of the Lord coming, cruel, man. And that that word cruel, when you go into it, man. First of all, cruel doesn't sound like anything nice, right. man. The scripture said, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, man. Right. And like like you like to say, big bro. Elvis said, don't be cruel, right? right? Uh huh. Right. <laughs> no saying, bro. Yeah, uh huh. No saying. Look, cruel. It says willfully causing pain mm -hmm. or suffering to others. And that's what's gonna happen because that's mm -hmm. what happened during the flood. Mm -hmm. The Most High was willfully causing pain when mm -hmm. He was drowning our people, man. Mm -hmm. That flood, man. That's right. For not taking heed to the words of the prophet, man. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, 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 may I finish this yeah. last? Yep. Uh, yes. Yes, you may, kind, my kind. brother. It says, or feeling no concern about it, and that, mm. and that, and that's cold blooded right there. Right. Man. The Lord felt no concerns about killing uh, uh, our people back during right. the flood, man. It's gonna be the same way now, man. He didn't say, um, damn, I shouldn't have killed him right there. No, right. So he didn't bring him back to life. Nah, nah man. Nah. Good riddance. That's what right. the Lord said. Right. And that's what we're saying for the ones that our people that don't take heed. Right. Good riddance, man. Right. He, finish this. No, so what you gonna say, bro? He didn't say, "Oh, uh, they can't swim. Let me let me call off the rains." Right, you right. <laughs> let me give him a life jacket, a life right, bro? Jacket. That's some snorkels, right? <laughs> nah, right. the Lord didn't say that, man. <laughs> Once again, Isaiah chapter thirteen, verse nine. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, mm -hmm. crude, both with wrath and fierce anger. A little wrath and fierce anger, man. The Lord righteous anger is coming to this place called right. America, man. That's right. You know? For all the wickedness that's being promoted and that's being done here. That's right. Just like it was back in the days of Noah, man. You know? That's right, bro. Eating the bomble foods, committing adultery, worshiping right. other gods, false idols. Right. You know, homosexuality. Bestiality, yep. transgender, necrophilia, yep. zoophilia, unrighteous Come. decrees. This place got to burn, man. Come. But before it burned, the servants of the Lord warn you. You know what I'm saying? Look, I know, I know look, that scared look, somebody. <laughs> Just like that. That's how right, it's going to come suddenly, bro. Right. Suddenly. Right. And whatever that was, that was big. Yeah, wasn't it, bro? It was a big. That was big. And that's how it's going to be, man. Bro you, bro, you can't even imagine them nukes hitting this place, right. though, man. I don't know if the camera picked up that sound, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that was a sound for you. Whatever it was, yeah. it dropped. You know what I'm saying? That was on the other side of, yeah. uh, of the street. Yeah, way over there. You know? And it was loud. Yeah. The Lord gonna catch him like a thief in the night, bro. That's right. Everybody having fun. No, it's getting it's getting dark now. Everybody getting really wild out. Right. But did you see everybody just, just yeah stop for a second? Yep. Yeah, everybody stop. You know. You no. Know? <laughs> everybody stop. That's how it's gonna be. Everybody gonna be having their fun, and that's how you know all hell gonna break loose. And everybody gonna be looking around looking stupid. Okay. You know. It says um with wrath and fierce anger. Mm -hmm. This is talking about the day of the Lord. Yep. To lay the land desolate. That's right. To lay this land that you, that you, uh, 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 Israelites, 
love so much and hold dear to your hearts. Right. Desolate, man. Uninhabitable, right. man. That's right. You know, there's going to be nothing here but uh, 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 desert creatures, right. man. You know, it's, it's like that movie, The Planet of the Apes, man. The, uh, the first one. Right. You know, how it was just all straight desert, man. You know, that's how it's going to be here. That's right. You, no, go ahead, bro. You're not going to be able to see the Statue of Liberty, man. Right. Because according to the scriptures, everything we see is going to melt.